Hey guys, my name is Sez and I make videos about all kinds of art. Today I wanted to paint a velociraptor in a top hat, but as you can see, my plans changed and I painted this little owl instead. So if you like little paintings of owls, I suggest you keep watching. So I am actually very new to watercolor, but I feel like the past few weeks I've been sucked into this vortex of watercolor and I just want to only do watercolor. I want to eat watercolor. I'm kidding. That's disgusting. Ew, Who would think of that? Um, I only have really low quality watercolors at the moment. Like we're talking pretty junk. That's some if junk is the you are lacking in funds or access to super high professional quality paints, don't worry about it. It's Honestly, just use what you've got. And bonus, if you are using mediocre quality supplies that was cheap, uh, that's a good thing because you don't feel bad about wasting it. You're not wasting it. You're practicing. It's actually valuable to you. So, you know, that's not to say later on I'm not going to invest in good ones. But if you're just testing some out, use what you've got. Yeah, that's a good tip. So I also want to add, if you're watching my video because you want to learn this painting, maybe I'm not the ultimate watercolor teacher because I'm just learning. But if you are watching to be encouraged, good. We can encourage each other. I'm the type of person that, like I will watch other YouTube videos and tutorials and I'll watch it through once and I'll be like, okay, and I never watch that video again. Rude. I just take what I want from it and try it my own way. That's just me. And again, <laughs> it's probably not the best yeah, way. Yeah, that's not the best. But it just helps me develop my own way and or style. That being said, this picture is not entirely... I'm not going to like put my stamp on it. I mean, I put my name on it. But this isn't the, the look that I want all of my future watercolors to look. I feel like I'm still developing that. So yeah, this is just my way of working out how to do a half realistic looking owl. So if at this point you are in the video, you're still watching, you're kind of enjoying it, Meh. Um, that tells me one thing that you should probably give this video a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. Um, it's going to tell YouTube that mm, this video isn't the worst yeah, and YouTube. maybe YouTube should show it to other people. So thanks for that. Um, back to this cutie flying cat creature thing that we call owls. One thing I noticed um, as I was doing it, as far as supplies goes, I think I want to get a white gel pen. Ooh, um, gel pen. I did go in and add some white gouache to make things pop a little bit. But I feel like a white gel pen just might add that little bit of something that might be lacking a little bit. It's just gonna make, you know, when you put that shine mark on the eyes or different super high shiny parts. Not that the owl is shiny, but definitely it'll add that contrast. So yeah, I should get a white gel pen if you have one good you should use it another secret tip that i'm going to give you and it's not exactly the most mainstream common type of tip sometimes when you're trying to work with the watercolor i've noticed you really need to know where your lights and your darks are so just squint and make the picture blurry what? and then you can see exactly where the dark parts are and the light parts on yeah if you like that tip, definitely subscribe to my channel because I've got plenty more nonsense tips to give you. Yeah. So in the end, I'm pretty happy with this little guy. I always try to focus on the eyes and make them really pop though. I, you know, this one, I think the sizing is off just a teeny bit, but overall it doesn't matter. I don't love the background. Neither do we. You live and you learn. So again, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and stay tuned because I have more things I want to show you.